Uh, and you're right. I had the sound off in here for what probably seemed like good reasons when I turned it off last night or something. Now it's on. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, my goodness. Well, I was explaining some things, and now I have to go over them again. But it's uh, real briefly. Um, I was saying, first off, that um, that I'm out of it this morning. And the reason that I'm out of it is because I've been staying up all night doing programming stuff for Kitten Academy stuff. It's all Kitten Academy related. But uh, it's just so – I have so much fun. It's fun for me, and it's always been you know a late-night kind of activity. So – um, I'm really enjoying staying up all night doing this work. Uh, it's, it's super rewarding for me, um, but it does mean that this morning I'm a little bit uh, out of it. That's why we're doing it an hour late. And uh, it's also why probably I started without the sound on without realizing, and it's probably uh, uh, why I'm going to be a little extra rambly today. So we don't have a ton of mail to get through. I'm going to try to keep it moving. Um, but uh, I'm also reserving the right if I if I just if I'm not getting into gear today, um, then we'll just call it uh, and we'll play it by ear. We'll just call it and say, all right, you know, we're going to push the rest of this off for another day because Mr. A is uh, his his brain is still programming. He's not over here doing the mailbag with us yet, uh, which may turn out to be the case. We'll see. Um, uh, then I was also saying that uh, in the last two weeks, it's been two weeks since we've done a mailbag with everybody because we had KACON last weekend. So KACON happened. That's a huge deal. And Ocean Header Babies also since the last mailbag, I think. Uh, so that's also a big thing. So we've got a ton of big stuff that's going on that I can talk to you about, except I don't know what to say. So, uh, first off with Ocean, her kids are super healthy and she's super sweet. I went in there this morning uh, to get her breakfast. DJ had fed everybody except for her because she, DJ had said she wasn't sure what Ocean was eating. So uh, she waited, you know, to, to feed her and waited for me to get up. And I would slept way in this morning. It was the plan for mailbag. Uh, that's why we said it was going to be late. So I went into her room this morning and I emptied her litter box and stuff. And she was just all over me. You know, she really wanted her attention. She's crazy for attention all the time. Ocean is. And on top of wanting attention, she wanted breakfast, of course. So she's just a little extra frantic. And she's done this thing now. It's become a pattern that we've, we've learned about her. Uh, when she gets extra frantic, when she really wants your attention, um, or when she really wants to say something and she's just overwhelmed, she'll bite. She'll, she'll bite just a little bit. Uh, Loganberry does that with his belly, especially. But you can tell it's the same kind of he's just getting overstimulated and doesn't know what to do. And he'll give you a little chomp. Um, so uh, for her, it's a little different, though, because like she ran over and grabbed my foot and just chomped my foot, uh, which, you know, seems like it seems really aggressive if you don't understand what's going on. And it is not. It's not aggressive. She just doesn't know what to do when she gets so, you know, frantic about it and wanting some attention and wanting some breakfast and she's not getting it. So the careful thing, of course, on my part is I have to be very careful not to reward that. If she bites my foot and immediately I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me pet you. Or, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me give you some food. That encourages the biting and we, we can't, you know, we can't do that. So she bites me on the foot and I'm like, all right, well, I was on my way out the door anyhow. That's why she bit me. She saw me leaving and she's like, ah. Um, so I just have to leave, close the door. You know, you don't even say, don't even say anything because just acknowledging her that at that point is a reward. Um, so, uh, so anyway, yeah, that's, uh, I just, I'm just sharing, you know, that she is so frantic for attention. But uh, yeah, she got breakfast this morning. She's doing great. They're all doing great. This is the kind of mailbag it's going to be. We're going to see how much we get through. <laughs> Sorry. Um, these kids are also all healthy and happy. That Last night was, I think last night was the first night where they just had the door open and been free to have the entire house. Um, but they've had plenty of nights where they get into the spa and they just get st stuck in the spa all night. Um, so uh, this wasn't a big step for them, uh, but it was fun. They actually spent it all in the spa, basically curled up with us. Uh, real sweethearts. Uh, let's see. Um, so as far as KACON goes, every single year I say, I'd love to talk to you about it, but I need some time to process it. And uh, I think right when I discovered the sound was off, I was in the middle of explaining that uh, now I know from this is the fifth or fifth KACON, sixth, something like that. So we've done every year. Um, now I know that's not going to happen. I'm never going to sufficiently be sufficiently processed to be able to talk uh, about KACON the way I would like in the show all the appreciation for everybody that I would just, I really want you guys to feel how wonderful of an experience it is for me. And it's, uh, it's just, it is great. And it's, it's nice that, um, it, it, you know, it's a KA con, but it's not, it's not about KA directly. It's more about just the fellowship. It's more about just 
people that are friends online who get to come together and meet each other in person once in a while, uh, who might not have a chance to get together otherwise. And that's what I like most about it because that's the same experience I have, of course. I get to enjoy it the exact same way as anyone else. Um, so uh, it was really fun. And I did want to say one thing, which is that um, and this leads right into what I wanted to talk about next. Um, I was the whole time I was there, my nightmare at every KA con is that there's going to be someone who's attending KA con who really wants to meet me. And for whatever reason, we don't connect and I never get a chance to, you know, say hello to them or to acknowledge them or just, you know, just anything. Um, so, uh, the whole time that I'm walking around KA con, I've got this in my head. Like I need to make sure that everybody, you know, if there's somebody that's shy, that doesn't know how to approach me, but really wants to say hello. Um, and uh, I'm not very good at that because uh, I'm not good at being the icebreaker. And also I'm not good at it because I, I just, I can't, you know, you're in a room with a hundred people. I can't keep a hundred people in my head straight. I, I just, I will never be able to do that. So there's no way that I can look out at the people and know for sure, okay, I've talked to them. I haven't talked to them, you know, that kind of a thing. I just, I can't do it. So if I missed anybody, my point is, if there was anybody at KCON that that happened, if my nightmare was actually a reality and, and somebody was there and I didn't get a chance to talk to you, first off, I was so sorry. And uh, secondly, you should just reach out and say hi to me um, online, you know, or whatever. Let me know because I just I'd like to know anyway if that happened. Which leads into my next point, uh, which is Ruth and Bob um, sent me some cookies, which arrived to the home address. Uh, and not at the mailbag address. And typically, unless there's labeling on it that says for mailbag or not for mailbag, if it comes to the house, I assume it's not for mailbag. And if it comes to the mailbag address, I assume it's for mailbag. So uh, the box that Ruth, um, that supports adopter, Ruth and Bob, you guys all know Ruth and Bob. Um, the, the box that came to the house, I've already opened it. It was full of cookies. They are literally some of the best cookies I've ever had in my life. The lemon lavender cookies and there's a walnut chocolate chip cookies. Uh, and they're spectacular. It's just fantastic. I don't even know what to say. The reason that those two thoughts are tied together is because uh, I I just found out, I think, that, that Ruth and Bob were at KA Con, and I was expecting them at KA Con, but I can't remember if I actually ran into them and said hello the way that I had wanted to. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think that happened. I don't feel like it did. So uh, I want to apologize to you specifically uh, and then if I'm just not remembering, there was a lot going on that day. Um, but uh, I, I was, you know, they, they were, uh, Ruth and Bob specifically were a, a couple of the people that I wanted to look out for there. And I don't remember actually uh, seeing them after all. So uh, anyway, the cookies. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the amazing. The lemon lavender cookies are like nothing I've ever had. They're spectacular. And uh, the walnut chocolate are just perfection. They're just perfectly made. Uh, that's what I had for breakfast this morning. It's what I had for dinner last night. Those cookies are not going to last very long, but they're oof, so good. Okay, where was I? Oh, oh. speaking of KA Con, the people, at, might as well start right here. The people at KA Con um, sent uh, a little something for me to open. It just says for mailbag, and I don't know what the thought process was behind this. What I can tell you is that at KA Con, um, we had, we, have, we always have games and usually the games are a trivia game that everybody can play. You can play along on your phones. Everybody does it at once. Uh, that's there. It's real fun. Sort of like you do at a pub night where you go out to trivia night at the pub and everybody answers the same questions and there's a leaderboard and all that, just like that. Except all the questions are about the Kitten Academy kittens. And I play, uh, I play along every time. People think I don't play because I have never gotten in the top 10. I've never ranked. Uh, but I play every time, every year. I play every game, uh, and I do very poorly. I am not the most knowledgeable about Kitten Academy, not by a long shot. Um, so uh, this year I did. I got I got uh, on the very last round of trivia. I was in the tenth spot uh, out of you know uh, the, the just the, the real you know it shows the top ten at the end. So I was in the very last of the spots that it shows. Um, so that was amazing for me making the top ten. Um, anyway, uh, they had prizes for some of the games. They had prizes for the Family Feud, and I think they had prizes for the trivia. And uh, the, some of the prizes were weird things, and I think these were leftovers from the prizes or something. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll show you what they sent me, and I don't know what they expect me to do with these things. I was so amused when I saw these at the con, but now that they're here in my house and I guess belong to me, I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, they are uh, a box of crickets. 
uh, dried, yes, dried crickets. Uh, they're bacon and cheese flavored crickets. They're not for cats, they're for human beings to eat dried crickets. Now, I am aware that plenty of human beings eat plenty of insects and that some places, um, you know, they can even be something that people think is pretty cool. Um, but I've never willingly eaten a cricket and I'm not sure I'm ready to start. I, I really want to try it. I really want to know what it's like. You're talking to a guy who's eaten, you know, kitten food and tastes medicines and stuff. Like I'm not too squeamish about most things, but this is a whole, these are whole crickets. They're very well preserved. And even with the bacon and cheese, I'm just not sure I can do it. I've really got to build uh, up some some guts uh, to do the, the bacon and cheese crickets. Now, the fun thing, though, is I've had, I've had kittens love dried crickets as a snack, wouldn't they? I don't know why I've never thought to do that before. I bet freeze-dried crickets would make an amazing kitten treat. Why, why isn't that a thing? Why do we do, like, shrimp and, uh, you know, all these – we do freeze-dried shrimp. We do, obviously, the chicken and the salmon and all that stuff. But uh, crickets, you know, that's something that, that cats eat all the time in, in sort of out there. That should be a thing. I think that would be fun. Uh, so anyway, that's, oof, I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And then they sent a couple other things that were along the same lines, too, that I think were also leftover prizes, which are a uh, su suckers. This one is a blueberry sucker or lollipop or whatever you call it. Uh, this one has a cricket inside uh, the blueberry lollipop. And this one is, I guess, banana. Oh, banana. And this one has a scorpion, a little tiny real scorpion inside the banana. Um, it looks very Jurassic Park. Uh, so uh, I'll use that for a prop uh, when I'm filming, but I don't know if I can eat it. Um, I want to. I really want to know. Like, I've always kind of wondered. I've seen these kinds of things before, and I've, I've, I've thought I would really like to try it. The other thing I'd really like to to know is uh, like chocolate covered ants I've seen places and I can imagine like in my head a chocolate covered ant probably is so good because ants you know have uh, that formic acid um, that, you know they're just very acidic and so they probably have a little bit of tartness to them but then they've also got that crunchiness and you imagine if you had them in chocolate it would be just like like a rice like a puffed rice chocolate bar with a little bit of a fruity flavor to it uh, and uh, even so, if I had some, I don't, I don't know if I could eat it though. Like I, I, I've thought about it a lot and I really, but I just, so anyway, this is something for me to look at and challenge myself with. That's the way I see it. At some point I'm going to have to try it. And until then, I don't know. Although uh, what might get me over the hurdle, and this is something else that I should mention. I know I'm dropping a, a bunch of news on everybody without even uh, getting into the mail. Um, the, uh, the thing I should mention is that in two weeks from today, um, two weeks from today, we will also be missing mailbag because of a big event. And that will be that my family is coming to visit. It'll be the first time that I've seen my family in years, uh, several years, longer than COVID, uh, because it was right at the beginning of COVID that my mom was supposed to come visit and that got canceled. And then since then, you know, it's been two years, I haven't seen them at all. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's been a while. And so we arranged, finally, we decided uh, that they were all going to come and visit us here so that I don't have to go away from the kittens or the kitten academy. Um, and because it's just fun and where else are you going to do it? So, uh, yeah, my family's going to be here, not next weekend, but the weekend after, which means definitely no mailbag and, uh, things here might be a little up in the air. We might have to have, uh, they're only staying for a few days. It's like a long weekend because they also have busy, busy lives. Um, it's hard for us all to get together, but uh, there might be a lot of extra like times when the sound is off on the stream because I don't want them to have to learn to deal with it. They're just here for a few days. Uh, we can just have the sound off and, and make things easy that way. And, and there might be some other things kind of up in the air, but we'll play it by year. It'll be fine. Uh, but I just wanted you guys to anticipate there won't be a mailbag in a couple of weeks. And it's because uh, my family's coming. And the reason that I thought of that, of course, is that my brother has a long history of being a daredevil when it comes to eating uh, things that are gross or spooky. Uh, so he'll be right on that. He, I don't think he would even hesitate to eat those. Um, so he might be uh, encouraging. We'll, we'll find out. Um, all right. This uh, says, Mr. A and DJ, it is a letter. Uh, it says, boop, on the bag. It's got a little kitten nose, boop. Um, and it is uh, left here last night, I guess, by some visitors. So... Let's start here. Inside we have a whale, and I can tell that this is one of those laser cut pop-up cards because they all have this style. And it's usually the same thing that's on the front that's on the inside, um, except in 3D then. 
So it's a fisherman, of course, on top of a whale. It's very cute. And inside, it's exactly what it is with the note. These are so cute, so cool. Um, all right, the note, the note, the note says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, we had a whale of a good time at the KA Con after party. It was great to see you and wave at ocean. We don't mean to spout off, we can't help ourselves, but your all encompassing care for the kittens makes you high caliper individuals. We uh, wouldn't be surprised if this spy class is high on every aduter's list. Uh, Astro Lobby, somewhere in the world, we're sure it means a thank you. <laughs> Astro Lobby, pronounced Astro Lobby, somewhere in the world, we're sure it means thank you. I see. From the KA Con committee and guests. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so we also had the, after KA Con, we had the, the planners of KA Con, the KA Con planning committee, because I have nothing to do with it. I, when I said I get to enjoy it just like anybody else, I meant literally like I go in there not even knowing what's going to happen. Um, so the KA Con committee puts a ton of work into making that happen. They make it happen for everybody. Um, and uh, I really appreciate it. And I want them to know, uh, that, you know, I couldn't afford people that, that do that for a living that do it as well as, as the people that, that, that here just do it because they love to. So, uh, thank you so much to everybody that helped make it happen and, 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 I'd like to say that inviting them over afterwards is how I show my thanks, but it's not nearly enough. Uh, so you definitely don't count it for that. But um, but yeah, that's uh, so they, they come over afterwards and uh, that's that's really sweet. I'm glad that, that it was fun. So, okay, uh, that's a really cute card. There's some other cards too. Uh, we've got a little pile of cards, letters this week. I like that a lot, but I think they all fell over here behind the boxes. So let me grab those. And uh, I think I'll take a second to double check that everything is working technically now that people can hear me. It'd be real funny if I did all that talking to myself a second time. Ugh. Ugh. Check the cameras. Okay, well, we've definitely got cameras. You guys can move over here just a tiny bit, though. Just a little. Yeah, good enough. Um, okay, we've got a whole pile of letters and um, my phone real quick, and I'm gonna have a sip of this coffee. Give me one second. We're 20 minutes in, and I just I've opened one letter. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, we uh oh we lost we lost the mailbag recording. Uh oh, we have a tech problem. Uh, okay, I know what it is too. So many kinks to work out. Let me fix this real quick if I think I can. It's going to be, uh, I'm missing some of that though. I guess somebody will probably get me the recording that they've taken off of the, uh, off the internet there at some point. Okay. How can I do this? Isn't there, you know what, I don't know why I'm asking. I can't do that, hang on. I can't do this from my phone just because I can't, I don't know how to do all the clicks <laughs> with the, no mouse. I'll be right back, let me fix this because this could be important. We're just waiting in my chair in my desk in my office. 
Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so I got the recording going again, but I'm probably going to have to get uh, a copy from somebody or remember to pull it off of YouTube, uh, which is not the usual process. Uh, otherwise, there'll be a big gap. Who knows how long at the start there. And we just had a disk fill up with, with data, which I should have expected. It's neither here nor there. Um, it's, I haven't been deleting any of the old videos once they get uploaded because I wanted to make sure everything was working. And sometimes it's not, so that makes sense. But uh, nonetheless, there was more of a backlog of those undeleted videos than there should have been. That's it. Uh, caught up with me. Okay. I think now we're recording and uh, audio and everything is going. And uh, let's just see. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yes. All right. Apparently people are amused by the fact that mailbag is going the way it is. Let's open some letters. Okay. Let's get it done. I'm amused too. It's fine. It's okay to laugh at me. Uh, I do. There's a letter opener though. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, this box, this box needs to be cleaned up. This is a mess. Oh, wow. Some of the food, some of the treats that are in there seem to be falling out all over everything, and they're a little greasy, and there's some paper in there, some checks and things. Uh, you know, they're kind of greasy. That's a mess. I have to remember to take care of that. All right, this first letter appears to be from my mother, actually. It's funny, I was just talking about her. And it says, hi, Kitten Academy. <gasps> what? No letters? Yes, we had a few weeks with no letters. I, I can see people made up for it, though, and I do appreciate it because getting letters is uh, my favorite part of the mailbag. Uh, visualize, oh, visualize mom riding up on a white horse waving a saber in one hand and a letter in the other. The horse, of course, is clicker trained, so needs no hands on the reins. Uh, <laughs> if I really wanted to impress, I'd be riding a unicorn, but I wanted to keep it real. Mom says, <laughs> Crouton's kittens are so darn cute, and they adore you. They're going to be such precious babies for their adopters. I hope your KA Con was a wild success and a grand event. I'm amazed at the group of people who dedicate themselves to organizing this event every year. Come rain or come shine. And I'm sure that Dawes is so grateful for the generous donation it creates. News from this, these parts is heat and humidity. I can't get outside early enough to avoid it. Annie spends her days in front of the AC vent on the cool floor. I keep telling her that Australian cattle dogs were bred to drive cattle across the sweltering heat of the dusty Australian plains. Uh, she tells me when she sees a cow in the backyard, she'll hurt it. But for now, her big urban herding ball will have to do. Uh, she pushes it all over the backyard. That's so cute. Uh, Buddy's been darting through the back door several times a week and off the deck to the fence line where some tall native grasses grow. Uh, he loves a snack of grass and by the time I get down the deck steps and across the yard, he's nibbled quite a bit. I sling him over one shoulder and head back inside. Although he's talking to me the whole time, he doesn't jump down and run off. I'm still working on his outdoor run, and he occasionally joins me out there, so that's probably why he tries to take things into his own paws and dart out at every opportunity. Uh, Buddy, of course, is my mom's, uh, one of my mom's two cats. He's a big black cat um, who loves to run out into the yard. As you know, we have a colony of feral cats and kittens in the neighborhood, fed by my precious elderly neighbors for all the years I've been here. And I uh, seem to have a young ginger tabby that decided to claim my front porch as his hangout. I always have fresh water for him, but I don't feed him. I've been buying dry food for the neighbor to feed the colony on her porch. Uh, though the colony's getting quite large, I'm trying to talk her into the TNR program, but she's worried about the females who will have no aftercare. Oh, okay. Legitimate worry for sure. And I'm going to try uh, to talk to someone in the program to see how that's managed. Well, I'll tell you first off, Probably the uh, vet that you would see for the TNR, um, you're, you were especially concerned about sutures. And, uh, you know, most most vets, I think, probably these days, most of the vets in my experience these days don't use sutures when they do space. Uh, they use, well, they use internal sutures only. They're inside and dissolve away. Uh, and then for the outside, they just glue it shut. Um, and so, uh, 
so there's no there's no aftercare in that sense and there's nothing for them to pull at and uh it's pretty safe actually so i think that's something that can be easily addressed for you i think the tnr is obviously a great thing to do there uh anyway <clears throat> i've uh Named my little front porch cat Tom. That's what our Tom cat was named when I was a little girl growing up in a rural farming community just 30 miles from Wichita. Uh, Tom is quite feral and scatters the moment the front door opens, but he allows me to talk to him through a closed window. Through a closed window. I can just picture this cat sitting on the front porch just enjoying his day. Uh, you know, looking out across the street and in the background, my mom's face at the window looking out like, hi. He does not even aware of her there. Um, uh, like sad Barry. Okay. Uh, he pretends he can't see me and turns his back to me. But I can tell he's listening by the telltale ear twitches. Uh, he's darling and one of, la one of last summer's kittens. Well... Enough for now. Wishing everyone a wonderful week. Love to all. Mom. Uh, Mom, it's, thank you so much for your letter. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm so excited to see you again soon. It has been a very, very long time. Years. Oof, that's awful to say. Okay. Uh, thank you. That was super sweet. All right. Uh, this one has a whole bunch of really cool cat stickers on it. Um, and one dog for good luck in the corner here. It's a little pug. Uh, that's super cute. All right. Ooh. All right, we have a card and a letter. So the letter says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I saw this card and just couldn't resist sending it to you. I hope it doesn't scare the kittens. Oh, it must have noises. Okay, that'll be interesting. Uh, I realized recently that it's my five-year anniversary of watching Kitten Academy. I started right around the time of Songs Quintet. And there sure have been a lot of mom cats and kittens since. Thank you for the amazing love and devotion you give to each class. And a heartfelt thank you from me. You've given me so much joy over the years. Love. Little Cat Feet. What a cute name. Little Cat Feet, uh, who says they are a champion Discord lurker. Well, apparently, uh, Little Cat Feet, that's an adorable name. Thank you for sending this. All right. So this says, oh, Mr. Snuggle Whiskers wants to play a Father's Day song for you. And here's where we find out how much it's going to scare the kittens. All right. Kittens ready? Kittens, are you ready? Okay. Pay attention. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, all right. Well, they're paying attention, but they're not scared. Wow, that is a rock and roll Father's Day song. Oh, okay. There goes Smidgen. That's enough then. Uh, oh, did I forget to mention that Mr. Snuggle Whiskers is a huge metalhead? Happy Father's Day. The speakers say ferocious on them. Love, little cat feet. That is so cute. Uh, these kids are surprisingly calm about most things, uh, which is real cool. Their mom doesn't care about the uh, vacuum cleaner or anything. They still freak out when the vacuum cleaner comes around, but their mom doesn't, which is real cool. <clears throat> she doesn't actually get bothered about anything uh, a little too much. She's up on the kitchen counters now all the time. Now that she's learned that that's a place that, that things can be. Um, and uh, it's hard for me to get her not to go up there, even when, like, when we're running the range, when we're cooking and things are hot and stuff, she'll still get right up there and try to walk over. And I keep up and go, no, no, get off. Um, so, you know, most of the cats learn that particular lesson pretty quickly and she's just not getting it yet. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Well, Hey, let's keep little cat feet. Thank you for that. That's a cute card. All right. Um, this is, uh, the return address just says cat dads. All right. Cat dads. Perfect. Well, uh, it must be another father's day card. That was also last weekend. <clears throat> Ooh, whoa. All right, uh, it is a it's a 3D classic Star Wars comic book cover, um, and uh, it's very 3D. That's such a cool effect done with that lenticular lens, which means you guys won't be able to see it very very well because uh, you don't have two eyes there. I mean, presumably most of you have two eyes, but you're looking through a camera that only has one. What are you going to do? But there you go. You might be able to see a little bit. That's so cool. Wow. Uh, inside it says can be read on air. Okay. And it says June 19th, dear Mr. A to the most, to the most awesome cat dad ever. Wow. 
It says, nobody messes with dad. Nobody. <laughs> oh, I see. Happy Father's Day to one of the most epic characters in the galaxy. From all the fathers of all the cats and kittens and faculty that contributed to the creation of the cats. Uh, wait, uh, I didn't read that right. From all, from all the fathers of all the cats and kittens and faculty that contributed to the creation of the cats that have been a part of Kitten Academy. You are awesome, and thank you for caring for our families and loving them, cat dads. P.S. We got you this card because we know you like Star Wars. Enjoy. Well, I do enjoy. Uh, that is so cool. Fabulous first issue. Uh, thank you. That's that's super fun. Those lenticular things are, are just really cool, too. I remember when Mark Dell, I uh, was talking about how you can't print out a GIF and he custom, you can actually print out a GIF. You can have those things custom made and custom ordered and put in like three or four frames of a GIF. And so he sent me an actual GIF from our GIF server that's physical. It's still on our fridge. It's so cool. Uh, okay. Oh, I opened this without saying anything about what it says on the outside, which is uh, uh, cat lover crouton tiny breads. And it says from Crouton and her tiny breads. It's from you guys. And it says to Mr. A and Dr. DJ from the cats, it's Father's Day and you deserve to be worshiped, adored, and waited on. Think of it as being us for a day. Aw, that's so cute. It says, can be read on air. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we never knew our biological dad, but we have you to dad us and teach us at the Kitten Academy. We are so fortunate and lucky to be here and we know it. So happy cat dad day. Thank you for making us comfortable and very, very loved. Crouton wishes you a happy cat dad day too. She wanted us to tell you in our note card. We love you both very, very much. Hers cannot describe how much. P.S. We snuck out when you were asleep and got you this card. We hope we aren't in trouble. Crouton drove responsibly. All of our love and gratefulness, Crouton, Smidgen, Nugget, Chunk, Crumb, Morsel, Tidbit. Ah, that's super cute. Thank you to whomever sent that. And then we have one more. Okay to be read on stream. Excellent. And uh, let's put the letter opener away. It says... Uh, Maggie and her bumblebee, it is a little drawing. So it, the card has a beehive with thistles and things around it. And uh, they've drawn in a fluffy cat in the background, as you can see. Here's Maggie and her bumblebee. And there's a little bumblebee and the beehive and bees here and the thistles. And uh, these are something I should know. Uh, and it says, Dear Chris and Dr. DJ, Thought this card was adorable, and especially for Crouton's fur babies and new cat Ocean. Also, Maggie and all the faculty with love from Serena and Theo and family all the way across the ocean from London, England. Uh, have a lovely weekend. Thank you for all the intelligent and insightful tips and helpful ideas you provide to cat and kitten people all over the world. You are awesome. Aw, that's so sweet. So inside we have the rest of the garden with more bees and uh, more cute little flowers. Thank you so much. This is really sweet. I love Maggie on the front. Like this huge fluffy cloud of Maggie over the beehive. That's so adorable. All right. So that is the letters segment of this mailbag. And uh, how cool. Uh, that, that, uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I just, I love the letters part because, um, you know, they don't, it doesn't, doesn't cost as much as sending a thing or a package, but it's still, um, you know, it's still something physical that, that came from you to me, but then it's also just full of all the, the sentiment and the, that I really get to enjoy that. So I just, I think they're wonderful. Um, all right. Let's open some of this uh, again. I don't know. Uh, I think what we're going to do is at noon, um, unless I change my mind at noon, we'll just call it, we'll push the rest off until tomorrow uh, because I don't think we're going to get through all of it, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Um, and we're going to start right here because this is strange. This is, you know, everybody thinks this is the noodle sticks, and that's what I think too. So I've always, this is always the noodle stick, but I don't think this is the noodle stick actually. This is coming from somewhere else. Uh, so it's a little too long also, and it says open other end. So I don't think this is actually uh, noodle sticks, but let's find out. I could be wrong.
if I can get it open, I could be wrong. Okay. Open this end. Oh, because there's a note right here. Indeed, it is not noodle sticks. It says Joy. Oh, I see. This is from Joy F. Okay. Oh, thank you, Joy F. It's uh, through the Mickey's Pet Supplies. And they put a couple of little extra treats in there, but I don't think there's going to be a note here. Uh, we all know Joy F. Um, but, uh, yes, no note. Okay. So, uh, let's see. There was a packing list, though. It looks like a lot of stuff. Interesting choice to put it in this. Oh, oh, those are long. Okay, I guess I see why. Look at those. Wow. Those are some cool patterns. I don't know if that's everything or not. Uh, I don't think my arm's long enough to... Oh, no, it's not. There's stuff still in here. Okay, what is this? Uh, there's something all the way... Uh, uh, pull. Okay, wow, they packed it in. All right. That might be everything. Yeah, flashlight. Oh, and a kitten. Oh, I bet a kitten would love to climb back into that thing now. Let's see if they do. Let's leave right there for a minute. But if I throw a toy down there, where's a uh, oh, a crinkly toy like one of the mylar balls? Well, doesn't quite crinkly. Oh, look at this system. Wanna check this out? Or the spring? Look at this. No. Okay, well, all right, so Joy, uh, Joy sent, uh, wow, this is quite a collection of Kong teasers. I have not seen this before, but it looks like uh, it's the same material as like a lily cat blanket. I don't, I don't know what you call that, ch um, chenille or something, that sounds almost right, but not quite, with a big heavy ball on the end and a feather so that it can get flung around really well. Uh, these are all little tiny loops too, so this is obviously not something you can just leave out. No wand toy is something you can just leave out but I can see that this could be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to see that with the kids. I, like I said, I've never seen that particular design for a wand before, but it looks like they're gonna love it. So there's four of those. Something in here really smells of uh, uh, catnip, and I can see we've got a couple of the Yao catnip pineapples. Uh, that's definitely part of what smells. And then you've got all of these, they say pet candy. Everybody wants a piece, all right? I see, so they're sort of like Tootsie Rolls or something, you know, those candies. Uh, that's what they look like, except uh, they've all been made out of different materials and uh, different fabrics. Oh, and they do have a strong, they're contributing a lot to this catnip. Some of them, like this one is actually, oh, they're all snakes. Are they all snakes? They're all snakes in the end. I, I don't know why it says pet candy then. Um, but they each have little snake tongues and eyes at the end. You see, they've got, each got little eyes, little tongues, and the rest are just really cute fabrics that are tied off into segments. And then I think inside, I think they're entirely catnip based on the texture and the smell. Those are really, really cute. I don't know if DJ is going to let us have a toy laying around that kind of looks like a snake, even though it really doesn't. I mean, this one's too much. This one is definitely off limits, but the rest of them, uh, maybe the camel one too. This one's got bees on it though. Look how cool that is. That's so pretty. And that doesn't have to be a snake. I think we can get away with having one of these around. Uh, otherwise, they'll be great for endowments. Uh, Joy, thank you so much. They're, they're so cool. I love, cute. I love those uh, the materials on those or something else. Okay. Uh, so that's all we know about that one, though. So for now, anyway. And I know Joy can reach out to me on Discord and let me know uh, if I need to do anything in particular with any of that. We're going to have to get one of these bigger boxes open. What's in here? What is it? You see what's in there? Look, do you see what's in there? What's in there? No, is it too small? It's too small for you now? Okay, who knows? All right, let's see. This says for Dr. DJ. All right, for Dr. DJ. Is there a, there's a note, maybe. There might be a note. Oh, it's open on the end. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Uh, it's open on the end. That reminds me. Uh, someone sent something that was completely wrecked and the uh, uh, lost. The, the package was open and whatever was in it was completely gone. And the post office um, reported it that way. So whoever it was that sent it should be able to get their, um, uh, you know, UPS. I think it was sent through UPS. I have to look. Um, I just I want to do this real quick while I'm thinking of it. And then I'll do it better later. I'll make sure that I, I do everything I can to get in touch with this person. 
Um, but I, it just occurred to me that I want to make sure I get it uh, out there at least once, um, which is, hang on, uh, was it sent UPS? No, it was sent uh, USPS. I don't see UPS on there after all. Uh, so anyway, I think they still, they still might have a default level of insurance that they get, even if you don't ask for insurance. Uh, I know UPS does, maybe the postal service does, but you want to reach out to them. And, uh, I'll just say it was from a, uh, Marlena B, Marlena B in Colorado, Marlena B in Colorado. If you sent the stuff in a bubble mail, it didn't make it. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, not only do I love what you do for the mom, cats, and kittens, but I have been able to use what you recommend for my own cats. That is priceless from Cat Pal Jen. Well, Cat Pal Jen, that is priceless. Uh, thank you for saying that. And then what did you send here that you say is for Dr. DJ? It's another metal sign. This must be a thing now or people just send them because I think they're so cool. I, I, they're things for me. Uh, this one says, once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved cats. It was me, the end. <laughs> That's a cute story. <laughs> and uh, it's all with this like vintage print of a cat sitting in the snowy forest, which is also perfect for DJ. I think she's going to think this is really cute. I will put that someplace where she will uh, see it. And then uh, I think she's really going to enjoy it. Thank you so much. That is, that is really cute. All right, uh, I need a bigger box so we can start putting stuff away. So I'm going to try opening. Oof, that's heavy. That's heavy. Uh, I'm going to try opening this thing next to see if we can use this. So. Ooh. Well, I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to use it. We'll find a way. But uh, this, I mean, the box, this is the Magic Cat Flexible Track and Ball Toy, which you will recognize. There's a blue one right over there. I guess it's just off camera, maybe. But uh, you've seen it plenty of times. The gray one is very attractive. Um, of course, this could be either one, do they say? Uh, who knows? I guess if it's gray, it's gray. Uh, so you sent three of those. We still don't know who this is from yet, though. There's some notes at the bottom. Let's see. Oh, it says Magic Cat Track for Chunk Breads, one each plus one for Ocean from Lisa for Kittens. Thank you so much, Lisa for Kittens. Uh, I, these are awesome. So uh, these are great. We They've always got them out here to play with, and then uh, these are for them to take, of course, to their homes when they get adopted. So that's perfect. Uh, thank you very much for that. And then uh, this stuff, I'm just going to stack in here right next to this. There we go. I won't be able to close this, but at least I'll have this stuff to put uh, away a little bit there. there we go. Okay. And, ooh, I'm betting this is food. Let's take a quick look. Uh, this one says, morning sunrise. Oh, dawn. Okay. Uh, morning sunrise sent us fancy peas. There we go. The classic pate chicken flavor. That's exactly what everybody here is eating, except... Ocean right now. Ocean is still eating the RC mom and baby cat because uh, right now I just want her to eat whatever she'll eat. And that's the thing that she likes to eat better. So I've been giving her a little bit of both, but she still is always eating the RC mom and baby cat. And she's only touching the fancy feast if she's running out. So uh, we'll get her switched over to fancy feast in due time. But wow, her kids are putting on so much weight. Oh, they're doing great. We don't have to change a thing right now. Uh, the, the trick is that the, the RC mom and baby cat, um, it's so rich, uh, usually it gives the moms bad poops, uh, and so eventually you got to kind of switch them off of it, um, but, uh, but for a while, you know, even with bad poops, it can still be worth doing, um, and I think for her that's kind of the case, at least now. So, okay, uh, let's open some more stuff. This says... Uh, it's addressed to Kitten Academy Breads and Ocean. All right. Um, I had a knife out. And then I, oh, there it is. Okay. Breads and Ocean. Damn, this does have a pull tab, though. Nope. All right. These pull tabs. I don't know. I can't ever get it to work. Oh, what is this? Weird little object. It is. Oh, it's a whale. <laughs> It's a whale cat toy made out of some uh, recycled plastic bottles. How cute. Uh, it's a little yellow whale. Yellow whale catnip toy for ocean from Lisa for kittens. 
That's so sweet. This she should have right away, I think. Uh, I'll leave it out in front of me and hopefully I can remember to bring it to her after mailbag. If I wear my shirt, I'd put it in my shirt pocket. But, uh, okay. Um, this says Creole Moss. Uh, and I know Chewy does not let you leave a note, so that's probably all we're going to find out about it. But it says to Creole Moss, care of Kitten Academy. Uh, that's the way to do it with Chewy. If you put your own name in, uh, then we know who it's from, at least. So Creole Moss, uh, that's, that's Creole like Cajun, I guess, and Moss like stuff that grows on the ground. Uh, Creole Moss, care of Kitten Academy. Okay. And you have sent us paper. No, uh, you have sent us another whale. Oh, and, uh, like a narwhal. Uh, wow, look at that. It's Mr. It's not just a narwhal. It's Mr. Narwhal. Play and squeak Mr. Narwhal with uh, the real sound. It says if I pull the tab out, he'll start squeaking like a mouse. But we'll, we'll save that. Uh, no need to activate him right this moment. Isn't he adorable? This is obviously sent for Ocean. I can see that. It's a perfect little toy for her and her kittens to play with. Uh, I think the closer to the microphone, the better, so they can set it off all night. Uh, I, I love it. And they're going to love it. You also sent a lobster, of course. Wow, it says pounce and prawn, but uh, I think we're going to go with lobster. And it's got catnip and silver vine in it. Wow, Creole. Uh, Creole and Moss, thank you so much. I can start now. Uh, we'll just put all this stuff together in this box right here and say this is going to be stuff for Ocean. Uh, and her kids, thank you. That's that's so cute. Uh, thank you so much for that. Okay. Um, what am I looking for here? My knife again, I guess. I don't know how I keep losing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, that narwhal is adorable. It's like the narwhal's the unicorn of the sea, right? How could I not like that? Oh, 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 wow. We've got bags and bags here. All right, bags all the way down. Uh, K Shea. K K Shea. All right. K Shea. There's also a note in here. The note says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for giving these beautiful creatures such a happy home and start in life. These biscuit making blankets are for Crouton and Ocean to be used now or as you see fit from K Shea. Oh, well, okay, all it says on the outside is dog bed, but I got to see what a biscuit making blanket is. So let's find out. Oh, aha, uh -huh. they're marshmallow blankets. I see that. Here is uh, one in pink, medium, and this one's a little bit more fluked out, but let's see if it's also pink. It is also pink. So I'm gonna label one, uh, Crouton and Ocean both love this kind of stuff. They, Crouton likes to, to knead on the blankets as well. Um, so they're, they're both having a lot of fun with that. I'm gonna write their names on them right now, but I'm gonna set one aside to wash and I think bring in for Ocean, maybe. Uh, there's another one I'm sorry supposed to be finding for Ocean. So we'll, we'll see. One way or the other, though, we'll make sure that uh, they definitely take these with them. These are so cute. The, the pink, too, so perfect for these kittens. Uh, C-R-O-U-T-O-N, Crouton, Ocean, perfect. And then I can just split them up like this for now, Ocean, Crouton. Even though that's really just sort of generic and down, we'll put that in there. Uh, Kay, Shay, thank you so much. They are going to love those, um, whether they, they do them now or uh, if I get out the other one that's supposed to be for Ocean and get that in her room, maybe. Uh, either way, we'll make sure that, that uh, they're going to love it. She's, she's going to need so many of those kinds of things when she goes eventually to her forever home. So, uh, oh, it's a letter in disguise as a package from April in Asheville. <sighs> April and Asheville, thank you. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, okay. Some of the usual stuff. Oh, 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 man, my breakfast. My second breakfast. My first breakfast was those cookies. Oh, my gosh, those lemon lavender cookies. I can't even. Um, so these are stroop waffles. Of course, there's caramel stroop waffles. And you guys know stroop waffles are really, uh, they're yummy. They're, they're like little cookies that have caramel filling inside them. And what you do is uh, you put one on top of your coffee cup when the coffee is still hot. And it kind of keeps the coffee hot, but it also, uh, it warms up the stroop waffle and it gets kind of stroopy. Oh, so good. Okay, uh, these are Shiba Meaty Sticks. 
I'll tell you though, my favorite thing to do with the stroop waffle, not that at all. You put them in your freezer. A frozen stroop waffle, it's so good. I mean, I can just eat them. You just eat them and they like have this crunch. But then after you, after you crunch it, it, it starts to get all chewy, uh, you know, as it sort of melts in your mouth. It's, it's the best experience. And, uh, and then you can still you can take those and you can put them on ice cream and stuff, but I don't even have to put them on ice cream. You just eat them frozen. It's so good. Uh, here we have the Mountain Express. Uh, Asheville, um, April and Asheville has sent ooh, climbing prices. Wow. This kid, uh, don't, just don't build it so high, all right? Then we won't have that problem. Um, then we've got uh, WNC Homes and Real Estate. Now, that should be fun. Uh, one of the things that we have fun with on our Discord that seems so random, has nothing to do with kittens, is looking at bad real estate listings. Uh, it's really fun. Okay, so here we have a package that says Ocean, and we have The Note. Okay to read on the screen. I like that. The Note says... Um, what? Uh, the, I just got a note from Scooters that says we've never had Stroopwaffle, which I think has to be a joke. I don't know how we could have overlooked that. Um, okay. Hello, everyone, and greetings from Asheville. Ocean gave us four beautiful presents. Oh, that's okay. So hang on. I'm putting that together. Um, if we get things in fours, then there must be endowments for Ocean's kittens, right? Uh, that makes too many sense. It's too much sense. So maybe I just put this aside for, for Ocean right now. One, two, wait, I'm counting wrong because that's five. One, no, it's four. Okay, see? I'm, I'm fine, everybody. How are you? Um, okay. Uh, Stroop waffles and local papers for Mr. A. Yes, exactly. Uh, Sheba, I'm sorry, uh, shortbread for Dr. DJ. Wait a minute. Oh, I think somebody took that shortbread out and ate it already. Oh, look at that. It fell in my lap. Well, I'm glad you called it out in the note or I wouldn't have noticed it. And then I got up and I'd be like, where did this come from? Do I poop shortbread now? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, shortbread for Dr. DJ. Sheba treats to use as you see fit. A catnip stuffed toy that I knitted for Ocean while she was delivering. I was inspired by her name, these watery colors, and I hope she likes it. What? You made this while she was delivering her kittens? That's so special. Oh, the colors are great. Um, she's ready to play, by the way. I think I was telling you, she's so desperate for some attention in there that she's, she's just frantic this morning. Of course, some of that was food too, but she, yeah, she wants me to go hang out with her. This is so cute. I can see you filled it up with catnip on the inside. It's a little octopus. It's ocean themed octopus. And uh, it's soft. It's made of the same chenille kind of soft knit material. It's got all these nice legs. And uh, like I said, the, the middle part is all filled up with catnip. And it's, there's a little tiny hole here, so uh, you can easily refill it too. But uh, that's, that's super, super awesome. Ocean is going to love it. I'm going to put it in her box here, and then we'll bring it right over to her. Um, Okay, I'm in love with the new babies already, and I'm sure they have names by now, but I'm particularly fond of the gigantic ginger, whom I call Giganto Orange. <laughs> That's not bad, Giganto Orange. Yeah, okay, I see. Uh, I'm a ginger. My cat is a huge ginger, and this guy would fit right in with my family. Please open his adoption now just for me so I can beat the rush. Uh, we all say it often because we really mean it. Thank you for all you and DJ do for the mom, cats, and kittens. Another big thanks for the community you've created so we can share thoughts and ideas. As always, pet kittens and ramble on. P.S. Hopefully a Discorder was able to yell bingo during this note from April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. April, thank you so much. And I know you put a winky smiley face, so I know you know. But it gives me a good chance to remind everybody that there's no rush to apply for the adoptions of the kittens. Uh, we'll open them when the time is right. You have to apply through our website, which is kitten.academy, not through DAWs, even through the, the, the apps go to DAWs, but you can't go straight to the DAWs apps. That doesn't work for them. Uh, you have to use the application that's on our website. Um, and again, there's no rush because it's not first come, first serve. It's not, there's no preference for uh, the early adopters. Oh, that's interesting. Um, there's no preference for the early adopters. It's uh, the, it's just whoever is sort of the best fit. They, they go through all the applications and figure out what can make the best sort of adoptions and pairings for the kittens. Um, so 
no need to worry about the fact that it's not open yet or that you want to rush to get in. And again, I know April understands that, but uh, it is important for everybody to hear that once in a while. So it doesn't hurt for me to get a chance to say it. Okay. Um, all right. Where are we? We're doing pretty well. Let's do, uh, this is good because you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to call it here. We're going to save just, oh, we're so close. No, we're not because we got these two. Okay. That pushes me over. Okay. So yes, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to stop here. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. We'll do it at the same time and then we'll wrap it up. And that way tomorrow we wanted the same tech issue. We can start over without the, the problem with the recording fingers crossed. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. So the rest of this, we'll, we'll just push till tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for, for letting me do that and for understanding. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to get up now and start to get all this stuff put up just like that. That's uh, that was a mailbag. Um, thank you guys, by the way, for all the generosity and uh, uh, thanks for everybody that, that was part of the KA Con, um, whether you were able to be there or part of the planning or just uh, interested online. Um, the the KA Con channel was so much fun throughout the entire con, uh, you know, for the people that couldn't be there. Uh, so uh, just thanks to everybody for everything. It was wonderful. Okay, I got to get this stuff put up now. Let's do it. Uh, and let's, let's bring a couple of these things that I was going to bring to Ocean. I'll bring them right over there right now so that I don't forget. And I think I will save the pink blanket to be her endowment and take this, uh, take, take one of the other blankets that I was supposed to bring. And it's very similar for her to have now and get that out there. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring these toys and get this stuff put up. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Ooh, oh, man. Okay, long way up from the floor. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, did I get taller? It's further. Let's see. All right. Hi, Ocean. You don't know. You don't have to get up. No, no. You don't have to get up. I just brought you some stuff to play with. You see what squeaky narwhal. Oh. oh, you like that, huh? Well, that squeaking really gets her attention. Let me switch the camera in here. Uh, she doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, no. Come on. Phone. What's going on? She already gave up on it by the time I can even get my phone open. She might go for it again now that now it's just What is it? Now, now she's more interested in just having attention. Okay, we don't know what it is. That's fine. Okay. I'll be back.
guess we can just leave these boxes in your room, kids. You want to spend these time in here anyway, so. Just until tomorrow. You're not going to mind. How are you? It's a good way to reach that window. I just start going and exploring. Bring this box in my office so I see it and clean it up. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, bud. What are you looking at? Hi. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that is the most perfect photograph of you, buddy. Hi, Cree. Hi, did I just say something that meant maybe I wanted you? Oh, you're so sweet. She just, she follows me around all day. All that she wants is to be underfoot. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, she has to be right there. And as long as she's there, she's fine. But then if you like go and close the door or something, it's like she can't get to you. Then she starts looking like for her kittens or somebody else. And she'll just cry at the door here to get in and see her kittens just because you're not there. It's not that she wants to see her kittens so badly when she's at the door crying. It's just because she wants company. She never wants to be alone. I think, I think she's going to have to be adopted uh, to somebody that spends a lot of time at home or... Or maybe with one of her kittens, or maybe both things. Because she doesn't care about, the, like the faculty, obviously. She's around the faculty all the time. She gets along with them, but they obviously don't satisfy whatever it is that she needs. She's only satisfied either when she's around me or around one of her kittens. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, hey, uh, let's call it. I'm going to stop the recording of uh, Mailbag now. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, I really appreciate it, and we'll see you tomorrow for part two. Have a good one. All right.